muito na onde escondi. Ah, é que a
dog outside. Sit down, Terry. I'll be with you in a minute. last patrol report of yours. You say that the crawls around the Devil's Playground are restless. People are nervous. And the informers have dried up. Right? Right. So just because the place is quiet for a change, you think the people are afraid? Yes. Chief tell you that? No. Which doctor tell you? No. Then who did? No one, sir. I just... Felt it. You just felt it. Yes, sir. Something in the air. I sent you out in patrol territory to get facts, not to sniff the air. saying he's the spirit of a great African chief and he's going to lead his people against us. I didn't say he was white. Well, what is he then, Albino? It's possible. Do you really believe that? Well, yes, sir. I think there's something in it. Against my better judgment, I forwarded a copy of this report to the district commissioner. And he thinks that I should be certified. Are you going to leave it at that? What else can I do? Where are the facts? Sally, what are you up to? I've come to take Terry. Well, I'll be about five minutes, darling. All right, but only five minutes. I promise. Goodbye. I think we're beginning to deal with a new breed of terrorist. They're more ruthless, they're more cunning, getting the local people to cooperate with them. There's talk of impressive ceremonies, ritual magic. All right. I'm not entirely convinced, but I'll send some Ascaris out to have a look around. Anyway, it doesn't matter to you now. You're a civilian. You can leave it to me. Thank you, sir. five whole days till you drag me screaming to the altar. Sal and I are riding over to the cottage. Okay, Mambo. Oh, Pete. Why did you have to meet that bloodthirsty old savage old boss boy? Well, men respect him. So do I. Dreaming. Just wondering if our cottage will be ever anything like this. We've only just started. Come in here and I shoot the lot of them. Bloody politicians. What do they know? They get up on their hind legs at the other end of the world and tell us what we ought to do. 
With my hands, I fought for this place. I fought floods, I fought droughts, sickness and disease. Never did I fight against anyone. Never did I take anything from anyone. No. But now I'll fight any bastard who tries to turf me out. Nearly 40 years of my life are on this farm. And here I'll die of old age or a bullet. Doesn't make a damn bit of difference. And you can get me a brandy, Dizaki. A large one. Brandy as well. Yeah. Good idea. But only a small one. How can those mealy mouthed speechy fires understand what a man feels about his land? Have they ever built something from nothing with their own hands? Make the bricks, cut down the wood. I did it. This place was no more than a wilderness. Nobody helped me, except his Arctic. going about the old days. You might just keep his blood pressure down. There's nothing wrong with my blood pressure or my hearing. I'm lame, not deaf. When I crossed the Limpopo with this reprobate here, I had 15 shilling in my pocket and all my worldly goods in that wagon, which you seem to have spirited away. Derek, when you first came courting Sally, did I give you a rough time? Rough enough. Good. You used to point your rifles at me when you were cleaning them, remember? Thanks for reminding me. They were never loaded, though. I couldn't be sure, could I? I had to be sure. here, but she's gone. And so have your brothers fighting for England, damn it. All I've got is this farm and Sally. So, Terek, you make bloody sure I'm proud of you. My mumble. The cattle are safe, the compound is quiet, and the farm is well for tonight. All right, Isaki. My mumbo, it is time for you to go to bed. Oh, let me finish my drink, damn it. Who do you think you are, my keeper or something? My mumbo, it is late. And tomorrow is another day. Enjoy your booze up. And Sally, be sure to look in and say good night. Trouble, will you? Oh, for how long have I been trying that? And I'll try my little burst for another night. <laughs> and the best of luck. All tucked up? Don't baby me. All right, I won't. But babies don't smoke in bed. Nor do I, damn it. God help that man of yours. That's what I keep telling him. My pa. Hmm. Sleep well. And don't be too late. Sally. Yes? Be happy.
Maybe they'll have come along to protect you.
don't see what's happening. Keep your head down. in the area. I tried to tell you. This afternoon I found... A runner's just come. It's Sally. She had. No one knows. Someone saw a fire in your cottage. Terrorists? They think so. Switch on the lights! Regulars, get your kids moving. I'm going to have runners in three minutes. John, open the armory as you are. Huh? Non regulars, your reserve, you draw weapons. Where's the duty officer? Yes, sir. You organize your own transport, got it? Right. Sean, I'm going to use channel Charlie for communication. If the information is positive, I'm going to use code word Starlight. You confirm Sundown, got it? Yes, sir. Sundown. I'm on complete security close down. Yes, sir. <laughs> Vanguard to base. Vanguard to base. Base to Vanguard. Sean? Yes, sir. It's Starlight. You know what to do. Yes, sir. Sundown. Tell Tarek that I... Shut up!
I know. Please leave me alone. I'm sorry. Responsible for the safety of the people in my area, and a terrorist might strike again at any time. Yes, sir. I'll do what I can, of course. With unlimited resources. Very well, sir. Yes, sir. Before he died, Joseph told me the leader of those men was white. I remember the mad woman that came to our camp one night. Kept talking about an albino. Reserves are forming up outside, sir. What's that move like? Foul. Like mine. I didn't ask you what yours was like today. Gentlemen, from now on, you will all be subject to the same discipline as the regulars. You are not here to extract acts of private vengeance. I know how you feel, believe me. But one false move, and you will destroy everything that we have taken years to achieve. The rule of law and order and justice and the support of the Africans. These acts of terrorism are designed to make you all lose your heads and start blasting away at the first thing that moves. But I warn you, I will deal quite ruthlessly with anybody who takes the law into his own hands. Thank you. Move out, chaps. Chairman, you'll scare her to death. She must talk. Tell her.
tell her she can have it if she tells us where they are. Wako lo ya mangas che lo kuti batanga na ukwe. Inda u, ene mi moya, ene eche, e tati kile. She says there is a special meeting in the rocks tonight, a big ceremony. The place is full of spirits, and there is a special stone. I know the place. Come on. Afraid of dying, Kachima? When do we leave, Mambo? Tonight. you to take Dizaki and his younger boy with you. Two of us are enough. Dizaki would only get in the way. He may be old, but he was hunting with me before you were born. Eric, you're going to need all the help you can get.
Just like the rest. Go, Mambo. Found their tracks. Five men went from the rocks. Four walking, one being carried. How do you know it's a man they're carrying? Must be a man. Poles are eight feet apart. You didn't come at this time in the morning to inquire after my health. All right, I didn't. Where's Terry? I don't know. And where's Kachemo then? I don't know. And you, Dizaki? I don't know. God damn, I'm Terry's closest friend. I've got a right to know where he is. Terry didn't tell me where he was going and I didn't ask. It was better that way and that's that. <laughs> Chief, you knew about this meeting in the rocks. Why the hell didn't you say something? These men are strong. They all have guns. We are stronger. Haven't you learned by now to trust us? Can I trust you at 3 o'clock in the morning when a man comes to my tie with a knife to cut off my lips? You can trust me because behind that man is one of my men with a gun pointing at his back. If the terrorists take this land, you will go south or be home across the sea. But where can my people run? You will stay, and we will stay. This is our home, and together we will protect it. They're getting tired. They didn't dig a dip enough. This one will die very soon. There are maybe two hours in front of us. We rest 20 minutes? Ten. Well, we pulled in the bodies of 17 dead, two wounded who aren't expected to live. 
That's the best news I've heard today. The ringleaders have escaped. We think they're heading deeper into the rocks and Terex following them. We've got to get to him and stop him before he kills somebody again. What happens to him then? He'll be tried for murder. People, you know me, Hans Adart. I was nothing special. My English is not even that good. But please listen to me. They say to me, Van, come and hunt terrorists. And I come. Now they say to me, Van, he must go and hunt Terex because he's killed these terrorists. He killed his woman. He burnt his farm. You listen to me, all of you. I've told you before that nobody's going to take the law into their own hands. And as long as I'm the member in charge, there aren't going to be any white men running around the country killing Africans. Terek knew what he was doing. He was a policeman. He knows the law. Back out of the law! I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. That's an order. if you want, but I'm going home. Did your best, Bill? Not even you can do the impossible. Thanks, I'll use you for a reference with the O.C. They are struggling. The weight is too much. If they want to keep up the speed, they will have to kill the wounded one tonight. out of your hands now, Bill. Captain Turnbull and a squad of paratroops are on their way. Should be here in a few hours. Amazing. Yesterday the O.C. wouldn't let me have a squad of support unit at Scari and I get the whole army. And a helicopter. So better clear the landing zone. Oh, and Bill, uh, this Turnbull will be in charge. You'll give him every assistance. Of course, sir. Might I be permitted to know what his orders are? Stop Terry Kernel any way they can. Shoot him if they must. Sorry, Bill. Must go. Meeting with the minister.
Carry him. Why? He comes with us. All right. I may move up before first light with the Bushman trackers. I want this whole area cleared of your chaps. You'll have to be assistance, of course. You're in charge. Yeah. I need one of your best men with local knowledge. I'll come with you then. Sorry. We have to move fast. I see. There's a big bloke in the charge room with an East Coast accent. He seems to know what he's doing. Get out of it, Peter. I take him along by all means, but I think you should know that he's Terex's best friend and you might find yourself going in the opposite direction. Leave Peter to me, I'll handle him. Sorry. By the way, what sort of man is Terex? Is he going to put up much of a fight? Well, if he gets to the Albino first, you shouldn't have a problem, but if he doesn't... Don't worry. I'll have him back here in 12 hours. Two or four, two or four, yes to it. Can you read me over? Peter, you're seconded to my lot. We leave in the morning. Okay, I'll come. But only to make sure you or your men don't shoot Terry. Because, man, if you do, you're going to have an accident. Are you threatening me? No, promising you. Listen, I'm not interested in killing your friend. I'm here to preserve order in this country. Come on. You can brief me while I organize a chopper. Get rid of the white man who is following us at the moment. It's not the white man we have to worry about. It's the black man's knowledge. We have to kill first. <coughs> Finally, you're awake. I am Kachimo. I know of ways to make even the rocks to talk. Why are you doing this? You're black like me. Just slimy. You big. I'm fighting to win back our country. And who will you give it to? I don't go for this mutilating, killing of innocent people, women and children. I'm a soldier of the Liberation Army. You must treat me by the Geneva Convention. By the what? It means you may not torture me. You take me to a hospital for my wounds. 
My madam, did you take her to a hospital for her wounds? My friend, you will tell me where your base camp is. No. You will tell me when these burn your stomach. No. No. Are you so afraid of this great spirit with me? Twenty-five miles to the tallest copy. On the west side is a cave. <coughs> there. Now, why? We come across the river to help you. We did not ask you to come. The white man. You must kill him. <coughs> Savage Mambo. He had my color, and he was not my kind. I want the Albino. I'm sorry, my blood. It leaves a trail. Use my shirt. Let's see the word. Later, when the sun is up higher, I have good medicine. Yeah, I know your concoctions. is enough. Now take a flame from the fire and burn away the bad flesh. There must be some other way. Now. Soon I may not be brave enough.
down east of here. Then I can cut that path. sir. I couldn't get them into the helicopter. And when I did bundle them in, they spent most of the time being sick down the pilot's neck. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Wouldn't have missed it for the world. Sergeant! Sir! Get the men ready to move off! around the whole area. Snipers with binoculars on the tallest rocks to plug any gap. There's plenty of those, sir. Look at the size of it. And the light's I know going. the light's going, Connolly. That's why we're moving now. Sir, you got your orders? Move. Every nook and cranny. Come on. Slaughter in Africa, a police force on the rampage, but also interested to know that 
A relief fund has already been organized for the families of the terrorists, would you? No. It helps to sell papers. What do they care? He might be lying out there in the bush waiting for the vultures. Johannes, you should have stayed at the farm. <clears throat> I have to know. Who's that? That's probably Turnbull. In which case, I'm sure you will know soon enough. Patrol officer. Sir? Would you bring some coffee, please? Three cups. Yes, sir. No. Johannes, don't get on the wrong side of Turnbull. Oh, he's doing his job, I know. Damn rain sluiced away all that tracks. I'm sorry. You can speak quite frankly in front of this gentleman. He's a very great friend of mine. You're the girl's father? I was. Then, if it's any comfort to you, they slip through my men like ghosts. As soon as the rain stops, I'll start again. Very well. You won't get him. Not till he's finished what he's set out to do. We'll see. You. Have you in hospital at no time? Do you think I'll see you again? No.
Not yet. Get him down. You know your eye. There's so much hate there. Like a man on the edge of insanity. Is it because of your girl? You're surprised my English is so good. I went to an excellent university. She was very brave. At first, she was silent. But then later, she began to scream. And scream and scream. You should have heard her. It was quite wonderful and very stimulating. <coughs> Derek. You are Derek, aren't you? She kept calling out your name, again and again. But you weren't there to help her, were you? One way or another, you're dead, Alvina. It's you and your kind who are going to die. Stuff they were. We had our battles. I won one and married their daughter. They won one and insisted on calling me Johannes instead of John. They made them feel better about it all. Well, you, sir. Come on, Bill. They're closing in.
Well, he gave them a run for their money. How many now? Well, the tracker says only one. The second one's bleeding, leaving quite a trail of blood. But your friend's not finished yet, is he? Not yet. No. You bastard!
Thing up alone, and that's final. All right, all right, but let me talk to him, please. For Christ's sake! What do you think you are? Judge and jury? How much more killing does there have to be? Derek! I'm coming. 